Cinema Snob is a YouTuber reviewer and uh, definitely one of the best of the modern age of the recent years. He's been doing it, I believe, since, I don't know, maybe 2011. He's been doing it for a real long time, and I've been a fan of his for a real long time. Uh, uh, sort of like Emmer Prevost, my, the first review of his that I saw was of the Oogie Loves and the Big Blue Adventure, and his review did not disappoint, even if he did not like the movie. Uh, he, the cinema stop is a very unique individual with a very unique style of humor. He purposely seeks out, like, the weirdest, worst movies, and that's a lot of fun, you know, not just you know he reviews the new movies you know the ones that just came out and you know that's cool but he also seeks out those weird obscure movies the weird ones that almost nobody's heard of and almost no reviewer is talking about he will seek out what's considered like not like a movies b movies c movies he'll seek out the z grade movies yes like the bottom of the bear like you have to reach so far into the barrel just like digging through the garbage and he will find that garbage and it's very fun to see him review what's considered garbage and uh review some of the weirdest wackiest wildest stuff and with his own very sarcastic very unique brand of humor he adds a lot to that and uh you know he enjoys seeking out the bad stuff and he has a lot of fun talking about it and it's very enjoyable to see him review that stuff um he has a channel called stoned gremlin productions yes it's a bit of an odd name but uh like i said he has a very unique style of humor and uh you know his name's brad jones but he goes by the cinema snob and sort of plays this parody of pretentious snobs that's very funny and a very sarcastic very funny reviewer you know he's very consistent in his style very entertaining and you know like i said him seeking out the new movies that's you know that's fine and he has some good opinions but when he reviews that random c grade stuff you know like stuff that's like decades old and like the most random weird stuff or like we said our fairly new but are like really obscure like these really weird uh like religious movies that are really really bad and do not actually portray religious values in a good way he'll uh he'll call them out on their badness and you know he'll find like just like the weirdest lowest grade stuff like i said my introduction to him was the oogie loves review and that's certainly a unique film to put it lightly uh a movie i like a lot uh he did not, but, uh, uh, so yeah, he finds the weirdest stuff, and he reviews it in his own very unique brand, very unique style, uh, he has a very one-of-a-kind style of humor, and, uh, he used to do film reviews with his friend, you know, talking in a car, and even those reviews were entertaining, he was very witty and funny, and would find, you know, have his sarcastic humor, come out and it's very enjoyable to watch and uh but yeah when he reviews that c grade total well he's you know what a lot of people consider garbage uh hidden gems you could maybe say that stuff is very entertaining and uh so he's a very enjoyable reviewer and a reviewer that i definitely think is worth seeking out if you don't mind adult humor he uh his channel, his show is really not for the kids. It's very much adult humor, very, very adult. Uh, lots of innuendo, lots of uh, adult humor. So, uh, you know, if you're not necessarily into that, maybe don't check out his channel. But if you do, you know, if you don't mind adult humor, if you even love some adult humor, the Sim Snob is certainly one to check out. Um, Regardless of the name, he is no snob. He's one of the funniest reviewers out there, so he's definitely worth checking out. And like I said, hey, Vern, you like him. See, Vern? Vern knows what he's talking about. He likes him. Um, so, uh, Cinema Snob, Brad Jones, Stoned Gremlin Productions, worth checking out. Very funny reviewer. Very good show.